I always try my best to uh, to make users' lives easier by adding things already up front that could assist them on what they have to do. And if I think of Microsoft Teams, you should know by now that each of the channels in your team is a folder in a library on SharePoint. So there's a folder for each of these in a big library on SharePoint. The users get a bit confused by it because if I go to intranet stuff, then the content in that files will be the folder for intranet stuff. So it really helps them a lot if you can add a link to the main library where they can see all the folders and also to the main site. I normally do this on the general channel. So what I'll do is I'll go to general, I'll go to files, and I'll go open in SharePoint. This is something I do when I provision teams for users because I don't believe that everyone should be building teams. That's going to cause chaos. So when I click on general and I say open in SharePoint, it's going to open up in the general folder on SharePoint. So if I navigate back to documents, you'll see there is all my documents in the SharePoint site. So I'd like to add this for the user so they can see all their folders in one place instead of having to go to each of the channels. So when I'm on this um, tab here, the first thing that I am going to do is I'm going to add the existing site behind it. So there's document library and there's SharePoint. So when I go SharePoint, I can pick the existing site behind this team, which is human resources. So as soon as this loads, you'll see that there is news and there's home. So if I select home, it's going to add the home page to my human resources site. So I add that on my team to make it easier for them to navigate and find what it is that they need. So this is the home page to their SharePoint site behind their team. And then I also add the document library, the main document library. There might be other document libraries that they create as well, but I add the main document library to the specific human resources um, site. Um, I think I'm going to just use a link actually. So I'll just go here. So remember, I can copy the link from this library. I'm going to just copy that in there and then it should pick up the site. So there's human resources. And if I then select human resources, it will show me the libraries on human resources that I can select. And there we go. This documents is the main library that sits behind these channels. So when I go next and I'll go save, I'll just rename that. This is going to bring back the full library, which shows all the folders, which really just makes it a lot easier for them to find the stuff that they're looking for. So I'll just rename that to all docs. And this is the SharePoint homepage. So this is definitely something that I do often. I add the SharePoint site for them on a tab and I'll just do it on general. And then I add all docs as well, which gives them the full view of all these documents, not having to go to each channel and go into a folder. They can then in one place, they can go to all the folders um, that's on their Microsoft team. So that's just a little thing that I do to make it easier for users. And I normally do this as part of my team's provisioning process. So uh, I hope that helps you and uh, we'll chat soon.